Hey guys, what's up? Power of boxing here. So I missed actually the Crawford Molina fight. I actually thought it was this weekend. I got it confused, but yeah, the Hopkins versus the uh, uh, Smith Jr. fights this uh, weekend. Gonna watch that definitely. But yeah, I uh, I missed the Crawford Molina fight, and uh, I didn't really miss much, I guess, because. It was a mismatch, but like I asked my uncle, he watched it and he said it didn't prove nothing. The guy who he doesn't know boxing as well as uh, I do today, but he's more of an old school fan. He watched uh, the era of like Roy Jones and that's the, his era he was watching. So he doesn't really know much about Molina. He knows Crawford, but not very much about Molina. Uh, obviously I do most people who follow boxing today know who Molina is he's been in uh, fights with uh, recently with Provodnikov Adrian Broner uh, he's been in uh, yeah, many many fights but uh, he's a b-level fighter uh, at best um, even like maybe even a b-minus or something but anyway my uncle said the guy who he was fighting looked like a bum. Like I said, he doesn't really know Molina. He's just going by what he's seen in the fight. And he said Molina looked like a bum. It looks like a guy, in my opinion, who... Because I've seen highlights of the fight, glimpses of highlights. I actually never even watched the full fight yet. I don't think it's really... Uh, I really need to. Maybe I'll watch it uh, if he fights someone like... Uh, a bigger fight like with Pacquiao or Lomachenko maybe I'll go back and watch it since it will be his last his most previous fight but I probably won't watch it anytime soon if I have time I will though but I seen glimpses and he uh, <clears throat> more Molina looked like a bum he looked like a guy who who you got off the street and trained for a couple months to get in with Crawford his defense was non-existent this is from just I haven't I can't fully judge it because I never seen the full fight <clears throat> but I seen like I said glimpses of it and his defense was horrible he was walking in the shots that you shouldn't even uh, boxers at that level shouldn't even be walking into he's walking in the jabs like rushing in the jabs getting hit with everything Crawford was throwing and yeah like if you you guys let me let me know what you guys think about that i never seen the full fight but was the whole fight like that let me know but if it was then yeah that's total mismatch uh crawford prove anything not really but the one thing he did prove is a b a minus a b minus a c plus fighters uh they're not gonna give any crawford any trouble even i would say even like B-level fighters aren't going to give Crawford Crawf trouble unless it's a very good B-level fighter like on top of his game, like a B-plus fighter. Like say, like for instance, when Maidana was fighting Mayweather, he was in the best shape of his life. He gave Mayweather a run for his money. Some people thought he won that. A lot of people thought he won that first fight. And Maidana is not an A-level fighter. I consider him a B-plus fighter. Uh, one of the best b the highest B-level fighter you can probably get is a Maidana. And that might cause Crawford trouble. But anything short of that isn't going to give Crawford any sort of trouble. You need an A-level fighter. So maybe, I guess Crawford did prove that a B-level fighter isn't going to cut it. You need an A-level fighter to beat Crawford. Uh, so, but did this fight show that he can beat Pacquiao? Did this fight show that he can beat uh, guys like Keith Thurman or if he moves up or Errol Spence they're talking about now. Does it prove any of that? Uh, no. Beating Molina doesn't prove anything for those kind of fights. But we know, though, against other B-level fighters, uh, yeah, he's pretty... You put your money on Crawford every time. So that's what I'm trying to say is it didn't prove anything in sense of how he would do against Pacquiao. It, but it did prove that you're it's gonna you're gonna need more than a B level fighter to beat Crawford, and <clears throat> so we'll we'll find out. 
there's possible him fighting Lomachenko, Manny Pacquiao, um, him moving up, Daryl Spence is there, talking about that lately, anyone at 147 really, there's tons of fights out there who could give him, uh, could give him trouble because we don't know how he'll handle the bigger guys, right? But for now, at 140, he's uh, he's definitely uh, made his mark at the 140 division. He's the guy to beat. Uh, I guess you could criticize his performance against um, Victor Postal because he was the power puncher and he was running, right? So, like... That, that's the only thing I would say when he fought his best fighter he's ever fought was Victor Postal and he was running and Victor Postal isn't known really for his power and Crawford's known more for his power and yet he was on the back foot back pedaling uh, had hit uh, Victor Postal very good shots didn't want to get too aggressive not not only did he not get want to get aggressive but he was overly cautious in my opinion and was running so like you got Pacquiao, he's more cautious today, right? But he's still walking forward, right? And then you got a guy like Crawford fighting Victor Postal, who's young and hungry, has the power to finish the guy, yet he's backpedaling against a, a lighter puncher. So that just makes definitely criticizing him there. But other than that, he's definitely he, he's very strong force at 140. And I would say at 147, he's going to have competition. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, tell me what you thought about the Crawford Molina fight. Uh, I only seen glimpses of it. Looked like Molina looked like a bum. I knew it was kind of he wasn't on his level. But uh, let me know if the whole fight went like that. When I'm explaining, did he look like a bum the whole fight? Did he look like a guy who you could get off the street? And everyone, I know people who are defending Crawford saying, "Oh, but he beat Pervonikov." Yeah, but that's. Kravonikov is a B-level fighter as well. He's one-dimensional. Um, the guy's strong, but you can't be one-dimensional to beat guys like Crawford uh, unless you're very, like, just crazy type of power, right? But other than that, so, yeah, he beat Kravonikov, but he took a lot of punishment in that. He, oh, yeah, I forgot he got knocked out by Matisse too, so... Yeah, like, I would say, uh, let me know what you guys think about the fight. Uh, did he get dropped? I don't think he did, but Crawford got the TKO. The ref stopped it. He was taking shots, wasn't answering back. So, did this prove anything? What do you know, let me know what you think about the fight. Uh, like I said, it's not that big of a deal that I missed it because, like I said, it's not... Unless Molina gave him a lot of trouble, then I would really watch it. But it went as expected. So, thanks for watching. Power Boxing. Power and Down.